Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be making a chocolate coffee birthday cake. First to start off, I'm going to sieve all the dry ingredients into one bowl. That includes one and three quarter cups of plain flour, half a cup of cocoa powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one and a quarter cups of sugar. Now I'm going to mix all the dry ingredients using a spatula and then just put it to a side. Next, I'm going to start mixing all the wet ingredients, but this time in a separate bowl. These include two eggs, one cup of milk, three quarter cup of instant coffee. By this, I mean about three quarter cups of water and one teaspoon of coffee and half a cup of oil and one teaspoon of vanilla. For the baking part I'm going to create a sort of well in the dry ingredients and then mix in the wet ingredients too. Before pouring the mixture in, I'm going to grease the tins and then evenly pour the mixture into both tins. And then after I've finished doing that, I'll bake the cake at 180 degrees for around 30 to 35 minutes. start to decorate. To begin with I'm levelling all the cakes to make sure the cake is balanced. After doing this to all the cakes I'm going to pour simple syrup as I layer each cake. The simple syrup is made up of one and a half cups of water and one cup of sugar. This will keep the cake moist rather than dry. Next, I'm gonna start layering the cake with store-bought Betty Crocker coffee icing. I'm only going to put the icing in between the cakes and I'll use whipped cream for the main decorating.
of extra thick double cream and one and a half cups of icing sugar. Using an electric whisk, I'm going to whip the cream up until it's a thick consistency. decorate I'll be spreading the cream around the cake and first I'm going to create a thin layer to act as the crumb coat. This will lock all the crumbs and make sure the second layer is even. It for about 15 minutes I'll be spreading another layer which is slightly thicker After smoothing it out all evenly, I put it in the fridge one last time. Then I put the sprinkles on the side using my hand. I poured it on starting from the bottom and slowly reaching the top. To end with, I pipe the cream on the bottom border of the cake and rosettes on top.
ended it with a happy birthday cake topper. please like share and subscribe in the description below will be a copy of the ingredients and the recipe thank you all for watching